Hey everyone, what's going on with the video we're we doing today? We're doing my entire classic Doctor Who DVD, well not DVD actually, uh, my entire classic Doctor Who collection. So this is anything classic Doctor Who merchandise, uh, it's pretty much everything, there might be one or two things from a magazine or some shit, but you know, main stuff, you know, that would come out in my complete collection. So, I'm going to do all darkness because I don't want to spoil the rest of the beginning of the video. Start at the top of the cabinet. So we have my favourite uh, action figure of each Doctor. On the top here, in well, some suggest uh, some sort of poses that they maybe they were known for. Some of them were harder than others. So obviously we have William Hartnell. Uh, we have Patrick Trout, which I quite like the way that he turned out with that. We have John Perry doing some karate shit. Tom Baker, which I think he looks looks dead cool in that. Peter Davison, uh, Colin Baker, and Sebastian McCoy. On the back we have some we have the main arch in the enemies, so a Santaran, mainly Lynx. Uh, we have an invasion Dalek, but it was meant to be a Dalek, a Santaran Bull, the TARDIS, it's an enemy, but you know, two uh, 80 Sandmen, and the Master, yeah, obviously a stealth man, Earthshock. Then we have Vector Insult, uh, we have the third Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, and a Sea Devil Gunner, which um, was made for me when I was a very small kid. So yeah, so that's on top. And then we have a sign, which I think on camera will work, yeah, because John Pierre is my favourite Doctor. Uh, in the first shelf, we have some Christmas things. Uh, we have the v well, the VHS cover of the Arkham Space. Uh, when I get to reviewing the Arkham Space DVD DVD thing, which will be s kind of soonish because that is a 2002 one, I'll explain how I got that. Uh, next, we have the Bing Biff Bing Bang Pow Biff Bang Pow uh, Simon figure, whose Simon Matt is the wrong way round. I don't know why that is. I think he fell over. Then we have my Destiny Dalek set, which was a special limited uh, special signed limited edition with David Goodison's autograph. Next, we have my Time Monster set, and also my Time Monster Joe Grant. Uh, we have the Third Doctor from the Eleven Doctor set, and my Corgi number 3379 of 5000 set. And also, uh, I saw one of these in my local Forbidden Planet. Really battered. And it was still 30 quid. So yeah. So if you ever see that, it is quite rare. And if it's in good condition and you want to make a bit of money, well, yeah. Uh, we have a Sea Devil from Wave 1. In a quite nice pose. I'm trying to uh, display them with that just to make it look cooler and bigger. So yeah, shelf one. Shelf two. We have mainly action, well actually mainly pretty much action figures except for the Sonic Screwdriver. So we have Invasion, um, P P uh, John Pertwee, uh, Dalek Collector Set 2, Resurrection Set, 8th Doctor from 11 Doctors, Wave 1, Talented Wing Chang Set with Mr. Sin and I can never see his name, Magnus Greel. Uh, fifth Doctor from Wave One, uh, door part build Sidemen figure, two two of Sidemen Sidemen. I think the Sidemats there is it or is it down there? Uh, I think the Sidemats around there, possibly. Yep, that's shelf two on oh, the dress egg. Uh, yep, shelf two, shelf three. We have some magnets. Uh, this is pretty much this is my favourite shelf. Uh, looks really cool. So we got uh, my little Robots of Death thing. I know it's not the right Tom Baker, but yeah. Then we have my Summer Nemesis, Revelation, Experiment, Invasion, more Experiment stuff. Those are two Suntaran. I don't know what they're called. I'd like to know the real name. That one made for me and my brother. You know, a different colours to indicate whose was whose. Mine was the yellow one because it was the accurate one. And my brother's was the red. Yeah, we had a few things made for us. Um, that, well, my dad made. And yeah, they, they look really cool, so put them on the display. Uh, it's not, oh, um, it's, it looks like a piece of tat, but to me that means, well, I, I know that, do I explain what it is? Fuck it, yeah, I, I might as well seem like a complete shadow, or that was Enterprise, Sandman. That was a Sonic Screwdriver I had when I used to ever play Doctor at school. I made it once at school, because I wanted one, and yeah, and uh, I still hear, I, I can't believe, I, it was a stick, and then I saw that bit, and I thought, oh, I'll put that on the end, thinking David Tennant. And yeah, and <laughs> it's still here today. So that really m m means more to me than anything else in yeah you know, in these shelves. Yeah, which is weird because <laughs> of course I'd go for fuck all on eBay. Anyway, and then the final shelf we have my two tenth planet Sidemen, Omega, Orton, Planet of the Daleks, Revenge of the Sidemen, K One Robot, Wave One Sixth, Zygon or Broton. A couple of photos, uh, uh, the 
uh, BBC Radio Collection, Doctor at the BBC with Liz, I think, is it Liz Layden? I think it's, so Liz Layden or Katie Manning and uh, Nicholas Corney. Uh, birthday card, which is the John Pertwee stamp head, and then some back card backings. So that does it for the shelves. Um, just make it short, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's my cabinet. Oh, and one last thing, a carded dapple John Pertwee figure. And also that's kind of classic there, the bottom half of my Doctor Who poster thingy. Next, we have some very interesting, which I think, you know, everyone will love. Empty boxes. So we have the third Doctor Collector set, Invasion Sideman, sixth Doctor, and blah, blah, blah. You can tell what these are. Yeah, I've seen these A for reviews and B, uh, I don't know. I just, well, I think for reviews, definitely. Once I've reviewed them and that. Maybe I'd put them in the bin, I don't know. But they certainly look cool and that. There's some of the backgrounds and all I might try and keep. I uh, have some more backings there. Now we have books. We have the annual 1975 Doctor Who Cybermen by David Banks, which is a really good book. Technical manual, which you guys, if you've seen the video, you'll know about. Annual 1976, printed out by my dad. Uh, which, he, yeah, it's cool. Uh, Target novel of Revenge. The Vault of the Treasure of Fifty Years, Complete History, John Pertwee, Colony, Demons and Day. And then my beginning of my magazine figure collection, which only consists of the Wheel in Space. And now uh, one of my prized possessions, which I only which I got for Christmas this year. My script of Re Remembrance of the Dark, which is, I believe, a legit and looks like a legit script. Um, cool thing about it is, yeah, we've got some notes on it. Uh, here... In that, I, um, when I next watch Remembrance, I might have this with me and just for a laugh, see, look at stuff. I think it's all four episodes, I'm pretty sure. It's thick enough to be all four. Yep, that's really cool though. Uh, next, we have, well, finally, uh, a collection that you guys are quite familiar with. Uh, it's obviously uh, a carpet. No, uh, well, first of all, we have the Enterprise stuff, so we have the My uh, troubled side man, my red shouted Alec, and my DVD stand and black Dalek. Uh, so of course we have actually oh, we have all my DVDs. I'm not showing you because there's some maybe some big developments. I'm showing you up to here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, I don't really want to ruin that because uh, yeah, I know it won't be for cool, but. Uh, yeah, I want to keep it a bit of a secret because tomorrow, well, if this goes up today, uh, I'm going shopping for the last time uh, for till the update. So then the update could be any time to tomorrow, uh, probably after about half three, four, five, six. So at some point tomorrow, I'd hope to have the final update of 2016 for my Doctor Who DVD collection. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's just go back to the to the shelf. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button as it would help me a lot. And yeah, so I'll see you on the next one. Bye!